Hi there, Dr. Bob Flower with uh, your Wednesday, July 7th, Master Pattern Report. Happy Fourth of July, belatedly. All right, last week uh, I had mentioned uh, predicting virtually uh, every market move, uh, that uh, there was a distinct possibility that uh, our uh, program, our, our Master Pattern, had the, had the ability to do that. And I want to just show you a small example of how this could conceivable, conceivably be. And I'm going to use a, uh, a recent oil chart. Uh, and once, once again, for those of you who have difficulty with the chart, please go to our, uh, our website, our blog, and um, you'll, be, you'll have a much better uh, definition there of, um, of what we're talking about. Okay? Uh, so here, I, I, want, I want to show you, this is, uh, this is a recent oil chart here, and you're going to see that there are five uh, purple lines that we had uh, identified here. Right? Each one of them comes at um, an intercept point uh, of the, um, uh, the various uh, cycle indicators, right? Where each one of these um, pi circles intersect, there is a major event. That you, you can see where those lines are. Th those are those are big, big moves uh, uh, in, in oil. Uh, this phenomenon is, is not uh, exclusive to oil either. It, it, it goes throughout whether it's silver or uh, Apple computer, it doesn't make any difference. It, it works the same way with each and every one of them. Now, there is a uh, uh, there is a physics uh, tied to this, and, and briefly, uh, let me just tell you what that is. Uh, that um, today, they uh, scientists believe that um, the the black holes are created by collisions. And these energy circles that you see here are, is exactly what's happening. And uh, eventually, um, or evidently, what, what happens is when they collide, when these energy cycles collide, there is a, a, a void created that's immediately filled with um, more energy. So that what happens is you either have a decrease or an increase and and if you have the but it's it's one or the other it's never neither so that depending on the nature of the two factors that are intersecting um, it will depend on how um, the uh, the energy will be redirected now here uh, I'm, we're using um, we're using two two Three, three cycles, three energy cycles. And we have, uh, as far as we can see here, one, two, three, four, five different uh, major moves within those, those three cycles. There, there are uh, two other moves that we haven't indicated because they haven't taken place yet. But you can bet your sweet life that they're going to happen. And, and I'm going to give you those dates right now. Uh, that's the 14th of July and the 16th of July. Um, and, and don't forget that we're, we're talking about oil here. So, um, um, if we were to compute um, additional cycles, we would have an even greater, for instance, if I took a fourth one, and if I could, and um, intercepted these other three, why then we would have something like uh, perhaps uh, uh, ten or twelve different movements um, within those those four uh, uh, energy uh, cycles. Um, this is something that we're working on uh, in conjunction with another uh, format that I'm going to show you right now, uh, and the second one is uh, what we call is the master pattern. Uh, rhythms chart, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. Uh, you take a look at this, and the, what this uh, conglomeration here 
is is a uh, as I said a master pattern rhythms chart, uh, and you can do this with uh, not only uh, any stock or, or or commodity, but you can even do it with human beings. It's sort of like a something like a biorhythm, only it's much more extensive and and much more telling, and a great deal more accurate. Now you can see that there are two two lines on there, uh, two purple lines, indicating uh, key dates. One of them is the 14th of July, and the other is uh, around the 16th of July. So it looks like maybe the 14th is going to be a little bit more accurate um, uh, an event than the 16th, uh, 16th is. But th this again is is fostered by virtue of these these cycles that that I've shown you previously. Okay, um, we're going to be talking more about this as we go along because we think that this is. Um, not only market-wise, but um, uh, cosmic, uh, as, as far as, as cosmic um, interpretations are concerned, uh, physics, um, uh, very, very uh, insightful. Uh, there, there's things here that um, uh, give rise to the Big Bang. Each one of those uh, pi cycles that I'm showing you um, apparently is some sort of, uh, coupled with some sort of Big Bang concept, okay? So that, in effect, what we're saying here is that the Big Bang is continuously happening. It's, it's happening. It's, it's we're, we're always banging. Uh, so uh, keep, that, uh, keep that in mind. I'm sure you won't forget that. So keep that in mind, and we'll see what, uh, uh, how in the future this, um, uh, this prevails, all right? Um, some predictions for next week. Uh, midterm, we think that midterm, medium term, uh, we think that the United States dollar may be taking a big hit uh, soon, so watch out for that. Uh, oil has a reverse move on the 14th and another uh, perhaps supporting move of that on the 16th. Maybe a short-term move to around $77.50, somewhere, somewhere right there. It could go to $81.00. Uh, silver may have bottomed out around that 1720 area, but it still it still looks weak at this time. Uh, the dollar is weakening and yen is, is strengthening, uh, so that there's a good play uh, there. Um, and medium term, we're starting to uh, now see uh, interest rates rising. So uh, this this is going to get interesting, folks. Uh, the S and P we think uh, is going to make a run to around that 1040 level. Uh, as our next stop, and perhaps even higher to 1080. But it's too dangerous to play uh, the long side. Uh, we see S&P weakness uh, into August, and the Dow entering the year, in the ending the year somewhere in the mid 7,000 range. Deflation is the move for now. Save and invest smartly. And if you want some investment advice, contact me on our websites and on our blog, uh, and I'll be uh, glad to help you out uh, wherever I can. Uh, an announcement, we will be filming our new TV show uh, on July 30th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Bronxville Library in New York. Um, the show is entitled Profiles of the Famous and Influential. Um, and it, uh, it performs achievement profiles on individuals and um, also on movements. First series is going to be on political correctness versus potential and also on President Obama. You can be on the show and uh, voice your opinion. Contact us for reservations. Um, I want to wish you a, a great holiday week, and we'll be talking to you next week. We're going to have some more interesting